the social media YouTube and promotion teams at Teenagers to be Experienced. And this is my first video for our YouTube channel, so I hope that you like it. And let's start! In Poland, a couple of days ago took place women's strike. Uh, it shows that quarantine won't silence anyone. But what was it about? At the same, the Poland's lower house of parliament were debates about two draft laws. An ultra-conservative initiative is seeking once more to toughen the abortion law in a way that uh, terminations of malformed fetuses would be illegal, which is a vast majority of uh, legally performed abortions today. I don't want to dispute about abortion since, uh, since it's a personal thing, but in my opinion, everyone should have the right to decide on her own body and have her free will. And using pandemic to change the law lacks any manner. And Polish activists wearing face masks and uh, keeping a two meters apart distance went to the stores lines outside and uh, had posters uh, with uh, Polish feminist uh, movement symbols like lightning bolts, black umbrellas and clenched fists. They were also driving cars with posters glued to their windows. Others were supporting online by sharing posters, sharing posts using the hashtags or using the Facebook's profile photo overlay. Everyone was supporting in the way that they could during the quarantine. And I encourage everyone to fight for their rights no matter the circumstances. I would also like to mention a second draft law which could potentially introduce a prison sentence to sex education teachers and why sex education is important. In 2017, in Poland, there were 2,138 children born uh, from juvenile mothers. Same year, in the UK, uh, there were 28,000 and uh, not to lie, 92 teenage uh, pregnancies uh, babies born. In the USA, there were 194,377 babies uh, born to women aged from 15 to 19 years old and sex education could decrease these statistics. Beyond that, abused kids will gain knowledge how to talk about it once something like that happens to them. Young people will learn about sexually transmitted infections, health risks of teenage pregnancies and how to prevent them. And this education will be matched to the age of students uh, respectfully. Thank you for listening and please share what you think about these changes in laws and the uh, women's movement. And feel free to check our website in Asia's Ethic uh, with experience weebly.com and our social media. Uh, there will be links in the description. Bye!